recognize me from 98 Degrees and also from the show uh, MTV Newlyweds on MTV. I'm here to talk to Howard about uh, life, love, sex, pursuit of happiness. Maybe we'll do a little label bashing. It'll be big fun. Now, Howard's talked a lot about your wife, Jessica. That's what I've heard. Well, you know, there's a lot to talk about. She's a good-looking girl. Nick Lachey is married to Jessica Simpson, who I think is like one of the hottest-looking chicks I've ever seen. She's a beauty. A beauty. I have to admit. But really dumb. And there he is, Mr. Handsome himself. Look at you. Nick Lachey looking awfully nervous. I heard you nervous coming in here. Don't be nervous, Why dude. would he be nervous? You're banging a super hot piece of ass. And what could we do to him? See, I never knew who you and your wife were. I didn't know 98 Degrees. No? I didn't know that Yeah, band. what did they say? Uh, yeah. You're not alone. What do you sing? Uh, we had a song called The Hardest Thing. We had a song called uh, I Do. How'd you get in that band? Was that like one of those boy Ooh, bands? Noche. Did you have to audition? Yeah, we, we were a... We were a no, nah, we didn't audition. We put ourselves together. Oh, you did? Yeah, we were the only ones that actually weren't from Orlando, Florida. And right, where'd you grow up? Put ourselves together. Ohio. Did, did everyone you know like think you were sort of gay because you were in a band? <laughs> like, they, like Not like a rock band, but like a pop band. Do they think, like, oh, that's gay? Not not at all. No, no. no. Girls love that stuff. So you were getting laid. How, how, so you, you banged other chicks before Jessica Simpson. You weren't a virgin. Yeah. I, I was not a virgin. Thank I'm God, man. Virgin. How old are you now? I'm 29. 29 oh, and you you're got, 29. And you got married, uh, what, when you were, what, 28, 27? Uh, How long have you been married to this broad? Yeah, 27. 27. 27. Jessica Simpson and you have the TV show on, on MTV. Newlyweds. Yeah. Newlyweds. Right. And it's gotten you guys a lot of attention. It has. But yeah, has now it, we know who you are. <laughs> has it been bad kind of attention? Like, because it's making Jessica look really, really dumb. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I think that broad is one of the hottest chicks I've ever seen in my life. Who do you think is hotter, Britney Spears or your wife? Absolutely my wife. I, and I agree. Absolutely. I think your wife is maybe one of the top five chicks right now running uh, around. She's on smoking. She's smoking. Smoking. Yeah. Uh, first of all, breasts real or fake? I say they're fake. Absolutely real. 100%. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. They're, they're great. Because they're big. No, she is, a, she is a gift from God. Two gifts from God, actually. And then, <laughs> she got you swear to God? I swear on my those life. Are real. I swear to God they're real. Because it's very unusual to find a girl that thin, with that kind I of know. body, with real boobs. Well, they used to be, they used to be <clears throat> huge, and then she lost a little weight, and you know, now they're just perfect. I mean, she, don't get me wrong. She's super hot. Would I love to bang her? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, there's quite a few people out there I'm sure would love to. But would I marry her? Because you're way smarter than her, and you know that. I mean, the chicken of the sea, the buffalo wings, the, you know, all the... See, you're, the seeing sna plus. you're seeing snapshots. See, <laughs> these are just little snapshots of, of life, you know? But does he drive you... Cr like, 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 you're a bright guy. Seems like you're a bright guy. I mean... Maybe it, it hasn't doesn't... gotten to the point yet where, you know, he's sick of it. I think it's that occasional, you know, marriage annoyance, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't drive me crazy. Was she your first virgin? Well, no, no. Man, I've never had a virgin. No and one. He's had two. Can you imagine? You see what a loser I am. How do you get her? She said absolutely no sex before marriage, but doesn't mean you didn't get oral, and you didn't get like. Could you do like some guys get anal? Yeah. And and like a girl think, well, I'm saving myself if I just give him anal. Yeah, that that didn't apply in our case. Right. A anal was was definitely considered. I can't see her going for anal. Virginity lost. Right. But yeah. oral was okay? Was that on the I, table? I, we, we had fun. You know, we weren't... Let me understand we weren't, so. You know, we weren't... Uh, How we long weren't did you dead. date? How long did you date the broad where, you, where it was like a sexual... Uh, and she, and you, were, you were committed to her and she well, was committed I started to dating her when she was, I guess, 18. So... No. Nah. You were getting that... Oh, well, you weren't getting that. No, I wasn't. But you, you were her boyfriend when she was I was 18. her boyfriend. I was 25, so I'm seven years older than her. Okay. Yeah. And so then, you know... It, How it, hard is that for a 25-year-old guy who's been active well, to not have... It's like this. When you, when you finally meet someone like if you've been on the road and you you know you're you're in a band and whole, you start to like question when you're ever going to meet someone that's legitimate and who has a good you know good heart who's right. a good person and as soon as i met her i was you know just blown away by her so cuz she was from, so hot yeah well she was hot and she just had a she had a great personality she you know pretty much everything that i was you know looking for in in a girlfriend you think she'd be a good mother to your children uh yeah like if the kids say what's tuna fish and she doesn't know <laughs> I mean, you got to be. I think she's still. I think she's still got things to to learn. To learn, but, but she'll teach. Uh, yeah, ultimately, she's going to be a great mom. I don't mean, understand something. I got to get into this. Chick says to you like that, and she's super hot. She's in high school. You meet her. She's talented. She can definitely sing. Right. 
beautiful voice, the whole thing. Right, right. So, and, and she's got her own money. That's, that's her plus, man. So you meet her. She's hot. You figure, okay, I'll put in some time and I'll bang her. She starts telling you, look, I'm not banging you. I'm waiting until I get married. That's my thing. Right. You're saying to yourself, I'll bang her. I'll just wear her down. Now, see, literally, literally, the first telephone conversation I ever had with her was probably, you know, three and a half hours long. And in that conversation, she told me that one of her biggest things was that I, you know, I don't know how it came up because I, I, mean, I didn't bring it up myself, but right. she said, I will not have sex before, before marriage. How many years did you date her before you married her? Uh, we dated uh, almost three years, and we broke up for a little bit. Okay. And then we got back together. So in the so. three years you dated her? Like, I guess, like, the first year, you're just making out with her and feeling her up over her shirt. Yeah, it was a little that dry, dry hump. humping thing, which is, you know... Like, did she, did, she, did she use her hand on you at all? To, like, I mean, you had to get off. I we, mean, you're a 25-year-old guy at that point. Well, I'm not above, you know, masturbation either, so... Mutual uh, masturbation. Well... But, you mean, you would go home and pleasure yourself. If, if need be. Damn, I can't believe the time you put in on this broad. Imagine... <laughs> but think, look how worth it it was. Is it a smart move for a chick... To say to a guy, look, I'm not banging you until we get married, because in a way, maybe you never would have gotten married if you were banging her. How much of that played into it? But I think that's like the that's like the screening process. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if, if she tells me that right off the bat, and I'm you know like, well, I can't handle this, I'm gone. Then that's not the kind of guy she's looking for. Were you right? nervous on your wedding night that you're here? You've put in three years with the chick. Everything's Wait, perfect. I you're. Ask another question because they broke up for a little while. Yeah. yeah. Did you go crazy? <laughs> yeah, did you Did you have sex with other chicks when you broke up for a while? I, uh, Yes, I didn't go. Did. I didn't go crazy. <laughs> I didn't go crazy, but I, I was on tour. Right. And uh, I did date the other people. How long? Like I know you went back with her because of September 11th, right? Well, I was. You know, that was one of the one of the factors. You yeah. needed her. But wasn't it hard to like when you were out banging tricks and stuff, saying, "Man, this is so much better than being with Jessica because she just you know I want to have sex. I want to complete here." Well, I mean, if it was if it was like that, then I would I wouldn't have ever gotten back with her. She's you know just I mean? so great. No, I mean, she's a great she's a great okay. person. It's it's obviously it's more than the sex, you know. Take me to please take me well, to your wedding night. Anymore, but she's so hot. Take me. I can't imagine what she looks like naked, but it sounds great. <laughs> I, is there any flaw in her? Uh, there really isn't. No uh, cellulite you know, on the ass. She's like, got a, she's got a little gas, and uh, oh yeah. But other than that, that's it's a flawless. She has nice feet. She's got beautiful feet. Yeah. Good legs, everything. Yeah, great legs. All right, so fast forward to your wedding night. I'll, I'll go back to the courtship, but fast forward to your wedding night. You get there on the wedding night, and everything's been great. Now you're finally going to do it. Where'd you, wh where do you do it? Where did you go on your honeymoon? Like, did you do it on the honeymoon, or did you did it, like, in the hotel no, that we night? Did it, we did it. We split the, the reception probably, now 12, 1230, so we would have plenty of time. Wasn't she nervous that it could be really bad for her with you? And w I mean, imagine it just didn't work out like there was no right. trial run did you guys have a prenuptial agreement you probably had to no we had we had no prenuptial agreement well, what if the sex was bad i mean like literally like you couldn't get it up i mean she doesn't know the, uh, i think she knew i could get it up <laughs> yeah. well let's say you're, you're quick Although, draw mcdraw the first time you banged her well, does, you she, know, I, does she walk out of the room in like a sexy outfit? Like, there's got to be a big buildup. You're like, oh my God, we're finally going to do mean, this. Yeah, we're, you know, rose petals everywhere and the candles and the, you know the champagne. You did that? And strawberries. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, it's, it's your wedding too. night. You got to, you know, if, if a girl is going to save herself till her wedding night, it's got to be the most Special. magical scenario possible. Were you, you know nervous I mean? she would disappoint her? Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, that's a lot of pressure. You know what damn I mean? right. Someone holds out their their whole life for for this moment. Was know? she your first virgin? Um, well, no, no. Man, I've never had a virgin. No and one. he's had two. No <laughs> one, wa let me tell you something, no <laughs> one's wanted me. Even your first girlfriend? My first girlfriend didn't want to do it with me because she wasn't a virgin, and she said, You're, I'm going to be your first, and I'll be stuck in your head the rest of your life, and I don't want to be the girl that's stuck in your head. <laughs> She didn't want to be in my head. Oh, come on. <laughs> can you imagine? It's terrible. You see what a loser I am? Line. You're a good-looking guy, and you can sing. you got a thing going on. Well, I, could, I would work. virgin. What girl, Girls girl, are look. throwing their virginity at him. <laughs> so you've had other yeah, virgins. Yeah, but how about now? I mean, I, now so, you're a big star. Yeah, you know? I, I think if I start taking if virginity, goes, yeah. it'll be a little rough. The police will come after Yeah. You. She says, look, I'm going to slip into an outfit. She goes in the bathroom, what? She prepares? No. It was, it was much more... Rip the wedding dress off and, and go for it. Go for it.
At Outdoor Life Network, we know there are civilized ways to... Let me understand something. So it's the wedding night. So she says, look, I'm going to slip into an outfit. She goes in the bathroom, what, she prepares? No, it was, it was much more rip the wedding dress off and, and go for it. Go for it. So you had already yeah. set up the room beforehand, and as soon as oh, you yeah. got there... Yeah, it so, was... So every, de you know, every detail was taken care of. I've never taken a girl's virginity. From what I understand, it can be painful for the woman. Like, I mean, you know, the, 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 her hymen. Right. I mean, right. It, I, I mean, you've done it. I haven't. Right. Was it very it, messy, this, this encounter? I, not, not no. terribly. No. Was it painful for her? She didn't seem to be in too much pain. Was she disappointed in the sense that she was, oh, my God, it hurt? And, and it's not what I was expecting. If, if she was disappointed, she was a good enough wife to, to, to not say it. And, she and said she dug it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was I'm, it easy going? And she's, con she's continued to say that she digs it. Didn't you have to use some lube or something just because it's her first and she had to be... No, no. She was, I mean, at the, you know, it's your wedding day. You know, the whole time you're at the reception, all you could think about is, you know, getting out of the reception and, and getting upstairs. And so, so that was like... Lubrication play. was not a problem. Is it painful for you? Because, I mean, you have to do some work there, right? The the only thing painful for me was was focusing on trying not to blow it right and blow, it too, to, and blow right. it too early because you want to give her a good first yeah. experience. Yeah, I mean you know this is this is her did you know, you groundbreaking moment. Did you know. pleasure yourself, let's say, b during the day of the wedding so that you would hold out longer? I weaned myself up to the moment. Yes, no I, kidding. I, I would do the same exact thing. I appreciate yeah. your honesty. You, ha you have to you have to make sure that you're in in the proper you know frame of mind. And, and you're absolutely sure she was a virgin. I'm absolutely sure. I'm I mean, positive. you've you, there, there, there was no mistaking it. There was no mistaking it. <laughs> you had to clean up the sheets afterwards. She, she was absolutely a virgin. You cleaned up the sheets afterwards. I didn't personally. Clean but you saw you would check for a mess. I'm sh I'm sure that housekeeping took care of the sheets. Does a virgin feel different? You've been with both, obviously. You've you've been on the road. You've experienced women. Is a is a virgin? I'm going to use the word tighter. Is everything better with a virgin? Is it like unbelievable, or is it pretty much the same? Well, I think it depends on on who you're comparing it against. I mean, I see. Obviously, there's some sloppy stuff out there. You know? <laughs> Not that I myself know. Uh -huh. How many times did you bang your wife, your new wife, on your wedding night? Did you go two or three times? Was she like, oh my uh, god, I want to do it again? I think and it was. I think it was two. And two. Then, you know, the thing about your wedding night is, it's just. I mean, you've been. It, the wedding night is like you're so exhausted by the time yes. that the, oh, it's all just yeah, lead but, up and build up. And but but I'd been to the party already, so I, I'm saying you know you hadn't banged. I mean, you had to be curious. Three years you put in, chicks a piece of ass, no question about. It. All right, so she gave you oral. You know, I'm assuming she did some oral for you before you got married. Am I correct? We had plenty of fun. A lot of oral. If you had seen her naked before that, ah, uh, I don't know that I'd ever seen her. Completely naked. Wow! Because yeah. if she had gotten completely naked and you were naked, there was no way you'd be able to. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I think you know we're both human. You know, if you, right. if you tempt yourself too much, eventually you're gonna. You Did know. you ever say to her during the three years? You know, what is the point? You're already twenty. Like you were twenty. Let's say twenty-eight at one point, and she's twenty. I don't know, twenty-two or twenty-one, whatever right. it is. You ever say to her, like, what, what are we doing? This is stupid. I mean, we're doing oral. We're practically naked here. I got your top off. I got your panties undone. You know what? I really, I really, really tried to be respectful of it because I knew if I did, if I ever crossed the line and, and, you know, say she would have given in at some point, she would have never forgiven me for it. You know, she would have always, in the back of her mind, resented me for... for think? It. You think? Yeah, absolutely. Or you would have been obligated to ma be married at some point and well, you really... Who cares if a chick resents you anyway if you're married yeah. to her? They I always mean, they end up they resenting you anyway. Resent you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> she already resents you. No, but, you know, I didn't... I, I mean, I, I wanted to marry her. It wasn't about, you know, having to... I just didn't want her to look back on it and say, I, you know, I lost it this way. You know, I, right. right. It right. wasn't perfect. Yeah, because I think it's... It, you know, in her mind, she's very old-fashioned. She wanted the, you know, the fairy tale wedding... She wanted the fairy tale moment, the fairy tale wedding night, you know, and yeah. that's why it was so much, you know. So would you pressured. recommend it? I mean, I, like I told her, I, I don't necessarily, you know, I, I, re I respected her view on it, and and I, I, you know, I think if it if you have a personal conviction about it, then absolutely, it's it's the right thing to do. Amazing to me. Yeah, I mean, you would amazing. never have put up for that. Would never, you know? because first of all, look at this guy. Good-looking guy. He's yeah, in a he band. Yeah, he get girls. He get girls. I'm like, you know what? Hey, Jessica's hot and everything, but you know what? I want to go out and bang. And you know what? Oh, man. I, I want to have some fun. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't have to play with a baby here. Yeah, that's the thing. Did you ever say to yourself, 
I could get hit by a car tomorrow. I could have been banging. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's like a good point. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you were it's a spring chicken. Le- it's, it's a leap of faith. You take. You're know? 26, 27, 28 year old guy doing That's this whole prime thing. Time. Yeah. yeah, it's prime time for banging. She probably did some more. Who knows? She probably banged these other guys. <laughs> Absolutely not, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> Just for proof, do you have the number of the Mexican to clean the sheets? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How long did you break up with her so that you could go, you know, before you got back with her on September 11th? She, she, she broke up with me, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Because yeah. she needed some time to develop. Well, you know, I had dated her since she was 18, so I was pretty much the only guy yeah. she'd ever really, you know, legitimately been with. So did she so. date other guys while you broke up? Uh, I think she, yeah, she dated a couple other guys. And what did she do? She gave them oral? You know what? We never got there. <laughs> I've never asked, and I don't even want to, I don't even want to know. That's right, her, uh, right, that's right. her yeah. secret to keep. Yeah, who wants to know? She probably did some more. Who knows? She probably banged these other guys. <laughs> Absolutely not, Harry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Just for proof, do you have the number of the Mexican to clean the sheets? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty wild, though, man, because, I mean, you could be getting plenty, and you, you saved you. She saved herself. Damn, I don't know any yeah. girls like that. And for me, you believe that? Hmm. I wonder how she is in the bed, though, because, like, chicks who save themselves aren't that sexual. Oh, uh, man. That's not true. Uh, she's sexy. You can true. look at her and tell she's a That's sexual girl. That is a natural instinct in yeah. her. Human nature. You haven't tried anal they, yet, they though. Learn, they, they learn fast. You haven't tried anal? Not yet. Not that you think? We're still in the first year, though. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We You'll gotta work her into it. Give us time to work up to it. Give know? her three years. We're still, you know, we're still experimenting with different positions. Yeah, don't knock her up too fast and ruin that body. No, nah, no. Nah. She's still a young girl. Well, that's she's got, you know, and as you've seen, she's not exactly ready to, to jump into motherhood yet. I was going to say, she's kind of a baby. She's good, she's good child training for me. So yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've got a child there on so, your hands. You know, I'm practicing my fatherly uh, so, instincts here. <laughs> so what's this? You got a new solo album, huh? Yeah, yeah. Featuring the so single long. This I Swear. This I Swear. Which Available is, in store. What is that about? Your wife? It's actually the, the theme song to the show. When the opening credits come up, that's This I Swear. That's the song. So. Oh, but well, one more question. Wait. Where did you meet this Jessica Simpson? Damn, we, used to, we used to have the same uh, we used to have the same manager. So I remember we, I was over in Europe and my manager called and said I just signed this new girl. She's you know she's smoking hot. Yeah. She's a great body and everything else, and, and you know he was asking me to write some songs for her. My agent has never hooked me up with anyone. Oh, man. That's, that's part of the contract. I never get a call from Don Buckwell that says, I met a girl who's smoking, smoking hot, hot and, and, she's, uh, and, and she's... She needs some songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually, so I finally met her at the, uh, at the uh, holiday parade in Los Angeles, and she was there with her family, and I was actually there with another girl. No, and, that's uh, good, yeah, though. Yeah. And she, she was there, and, you know, kind of looked at each other across the room, that whole thing. So when do you uh, make the move? What do you mean, the anal move? No, no, oh. no, no. <laughs> give, us, give us a couple of years for that. Right. No, when uh, do you hook up? It was like you... a month and a half later. I finally gave her my number or whatever, and, you know, we started talking. Uh-huh. So your wife's never going to bring out the chicks into the bed, though. I don't see her going there. She's, like, all moral. What is she, religious? She's, yeah. She, well, her, her dad was a preacher, so she uh, grew up, you know, she grew up uh, Southern Jesus Baptist. Jesus freak. Mm. She's very religious. Do yeah. they make you go to church? You know what? I haven't been to church in, in some time. I hope you did all your living, man. You, have you ever had a three-way, I mean, outside of your wife when you were single? I have not. You haven't? I haven't. Because you ain't getting it with her. No. Not with well, all that Jesus have time crap. time when it's over. Because <laughs> you don't think this is lasting forever, do you? Absolutely. <laughs> Although I've heard there are bets now in London. Some London gaming house is taking, you know, bets, and there's odds on how long our marriage will last. Is so. that right? It's not going to last forever. I know that. Uh, I'll tell you what. Either she's going to go, I need to experience another guy. Or you're just going to go. You know what? Yeah, but she had her chance. I gave her her chance. Or you're going to get fed up with her. She was a young girl. She didn't even know. Dude, sometimes on that show, you look so annoyed with her. I mean, like, to the point, like, it's just like, what am I doing? Especially when you walk into that bedroom and you see all the clothes lying everywhere. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We're we're learning, see. We're learning. And, yeah, you got to remember the show is just, you know, it's snapshots. It's not the whole package. It seems to be an awful lot of arguing already. Well, yeah, that's part of, you know, part of marriage. (laughs) Right? Man, no, it's too much. You'll be out of that in five years. So what? Let me ask you last question. Yeah. If Jessica got into a horrible car accident, we don't wish this. Oh, God. Knock, had, knock on wood. Yeah, and it, defigure, it, like it disfigured her face, would you still be with her? Absolutely. A liar. Absolutely, I would. Let me hook you up with a lie detector test. If I'm, if I'm willing to wait three years for the girl... Yeah, but look at her. It's not just physical. Sure it is. 
Oh, there's other hot girls out there. Come on, it's not about that. I say within three days you'd file for divorce. No way. All right. <laughs> she's not disfigured, but she's paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, like a Christopher Reeve situation. <laughs> what if she gets into an accident uh, and loses her personality? <laughs> Bob it. I'm still in. Nick Lachey, the album is out. It's called Solo. Solo. Nice meeting you, Nick. Good to meet you. Good luck with the show. Thanks for on. having me. Hey, great having you here, and good luck with the album. Thank you. Uh, I don't even go in there, man. Everything was cool. Everything was cool. Could have been decidedly worse. He was he was mild. I had worse I had worse you know images in my head of how I was gonna be. So. Were you nervous cool. in there? I was nervous in the beginning, but then uh, as we got into it, it was cool. So. There was a lot of sex talk in there. There was a lot of sex talk. But she's a sexy girl, so you you know you would expect sex to come into play there.